Hello, YouTube fam. Thanks for checking out another brunch at home episode with me. I'm Stacy Elaine. Today, we are cooking one of my favorite brunch dishes, dinner dishes, breakfast dishes of all time, which is shrimp and grits. I love it. As soon as I started eating shrimp and grits, I had to learn how to just make this dish myself. And when I realized it was so simple and so quick, it became a staple in my household. I cook it all the time. One thing you should note about this recipe that I'm showing today is that I am making it without bacon. Now in the past, I would start off by cooking a few strips of bacon and then draining the oil out of the pan and then cooking the shrimp in the pan that you cook the bacon in. But I have hypertension, I'm 38 years old, I'm filming this while the pandemic is still going on, and so for health reasons, I am taking much more consideration into my blood pressure levels. My blood pressure is normal at the moment, but I am on medication, and I plan to keep it as normal as possible. So today, I'm skipping the bacon. If you don't have these issues, use the bacon, it's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good, I'm just gonna tell you that. I'm gonna skip the bacon, but the recipe is still so yummy and so good, so you're not gonna miss it, I'm, I promise, I promise. So let's cook our grits. Now I was raised on instant grits, okay? If you know my mama, my mama made instant grits, I make instant grits as well. And these quick grits, <laughs> Jim Dandy, I don't know who Jim is, but we've been eating his grits for a very long time. Um, fortified with iron. And this is what I'm making today. So great tips for cooking grits. You don't want your grits to stick. So I'm gonna use this pot to cook my grits in. What I do is I, spray the inside of my pot with non-stick spray. And this way, the grits are not gonna stick. And it's gonna be so much easier to clean that pot when you're finished. Now, grits are a one to four recipe all the time. One part grits, four parts liquid. Today, we're gonna use half water, half chicken stock. So I'm using reduced sodium chicken stock because again, I have hypertension. So I'm gonna put two cups of chicken stock in here. And then I'm going to get two cups of water to add to this. When I get the liquid for grits, I kind of go a little bit over so you can see where it says four cups. I'm a little bit over because once you wait for the liquid to boil, some of it will evaporate. So that part will evaporate and you're gonna be left with the four parts liquid like you need. So I'm gonna put this in the pan, in the pot, and then turn it and let your water boil. So now I have some shrimp. To know about my shrimp, I am using about a dozen extra large um, shrimp. They came deveined and they were also easy to peel, but you will peel the shrimp and then season it. And I'm going to use my main man, Tony Satchery's Creole seasoning and some black pepper. To make sure my shrimp are fully coated with the seasoning, I always put it in like this little Tupperware that I don't use for eating. Um, and I just shake it up. And another season that I'm gonna put on my shrimp that I like is smoked paprika. So I have this smoky paprika here. I'm just gonna take a pinch. It just adds flavor that I like with the lemon and garlic that I'm going to be using 
in our dish today. All right, now I am going to heat my pan on medium heat for the shrimp. I'm gonna put half olive oil and half butter. Since I'm showing this to you guys, I guess I'll measure, which I don't normally do, but I'm gonna use about one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, and then I'll use the same for butter. And that's what I'm gonna cook my shrimp in instead of cooking it in the bacon drippings that um, we would normally cook it in. The longest part of cooking shrimp and grits is waiting for the water to boil for the grits. Everything else is quick, quick, quick. So while I'm waiting for the water to boil, let's have a topic of the, of the day. I wanna talk about August Alsina. So my friend Anitra woke me up this good Sunday morning sharing that August Alsina put out a song called Entanglement. What kind of low life do you have to be to do that? I'm just clutch imaginary pearls. Now, we can talk about Jada and how low her mental state had to have been to sleep with her son's depressed friend while separated from her husband, while it's all these other grown ass men out here that she could have slept with. She chose her son's depressed friend. But we're not talking about her. We're gonna talk about August because he just dropped the song. So I literally gasped when I heard the song. <gasps> Who thinks this is a good idea? August ain't in his right mind either, but we all know that. Our water is boiling. And my blood is boiling over this. Like, dude, that is straight up disrespect. A lot of people in marriages these days separate, go sleep at their homeboy house, go hang out with their girls, come back months later, come back years later. If you have tried to stay married to the same human being in the same household for more than five fucking minutes, something like this may have happened in your marriage as well. Marriage is many troubles, as the good book says, okay? Marriage brings many troubles. It does not mean that the marriage is open. It just means it's a real one, okay? And August Alsina is straight up disrespecting Will Smith right now with this entanglement song and disrespecting Jada. Like, okay, you fell for her when she was separated from her husband. She decided to go back to her husband. Fool, play your role and move on. And don't even get me started about Rick Ross, who should have gone to jail for identity theft, for stealing the persona of Ricky Rose, free Ray Ricky Rose. Oh, don't get me started. Anyway, this is one cup of quick grits going in here. Our oil, we're going to stir, stir, stir. Turn it on low immediately. Stir, stir, stir. Now, we're going to cut a little piece of butter like this. Put it in our pan. It is melting because it's already hot. And then this is what we're gonna put our shrimp in. We have garlic. We're gonna use 
probably half a tablespoon. Yep. Put that in the pan. A little more. Stir, stir, stir your grits. Let them sit there for about seven minutes and do their thing. You will know your shrimp are done when they turn pink. And start to curl into a letter C. I like my shrimp to be cooked evenly, so I cook them with tongs and turn them. It literally takes shrimp about three minutes to cook. You do not want to overcook shrimp because then they taste, they get a rubbery texture. All right, I'm going to turn my shrimp on low. They are curling, they are looking good. The garlic is cooking. I'm going to put some parsley in here. That's the end of that jar. I'm also going to juice about three-fourths of a lemon. So you need all that lemon, all that garlic. Gonna put some, the white part of my green onion, the base of the green onion. I cut up two green onions and I'm gonna put that in the pan. So the white and light green parts of the green onion will go in. And then we want to add about two tablespoons of chicken broth. If you cooked with bacon, you would be adding bacon grease. I'm actually gonna add three tablespoons. You would be adding bacon grease in here. Sit this on low and let it simmer. And I'm gonna add Okay, we gotta stir our grits. Grits pop, so be careful. But I like to use a whisk and whisk the grits. And it keeps them from being lumpy and clumpy. We don't like that. So we're gonna let this, our grits simmer. I mean, we're gonna let our shrimp simmer, but they're basically done. About a few more minutes on these grits. Let them stir, stir, stir. You don't want them to stick and you don't want your grits to be lumpy. You can tell they're getting thicker, but you just keep stirring, okay? And remember, everything is on low. Like, we, we basically are almost done cooking. It's miraculous. But yeah, let's talk about Rick. Now, he got Ricky Rosé to be on the song Mr. Identity Theft. As if to say, the song really should be called We Ain't Got No Morals. That's what the song should be called. This is just straight disrespect. Who raised these men? Oh, y'all men, you better fall back and play your position. You knew what it was, and then when it didn't become what you wanted it to be, now you so salty, you gotta tell the whole world, make songs, like to hear, here it go. No, nobody asked you for that. This is literally the Instagram meme of no one. August Alcina, Alcina. Let me tell y'all all my business with Jada Pinkett Smith. We didn't even ask for this. We asked that Black Lives Matter. We asked for police reform. We asked for this, August. What do y'all think? I just think this is so disrespectful. And we're not, again, we're not talking about Jada and her mentality. We're not talking about this. What we're talking about is August. We're gonna stick with August 
and then Ricky Rose on the track. We are almost done cooking, good people. Almost. We're gonna hit this shrimp with some fresh black pepper on top. Cause that's what I like. But honestly, if you're a guy watching this video, what do you think of all this? Cause he's making, he's making these young boys look bad. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. Like I've seen a lot of older dudes come out and be like August son. Let me put you up on game. But now like he's taking it to a whole new level of disrespect. A whole new level of disrespect for Jada, for Will, for people he say that he love and respect, um, and for their marriage that they have been working on. And shout out to all of you watching this who are working on your marriage. Cause I know a lot of people who ain't working on their marriage and they should be, okay? We're gonna turn our fire off, move our grits, I have four ounces of shredded cheese that I am going to put in the grits. Yes, shrimp and grits need cheese grits. And I know I'm not even someone that likes cheese grits, but trust me, shrimp and grits need cheese grits. So I have four ounces of freshly shredded Colby Jack cheese. Here, this is my cheese. These is like the only other thing we are putting in our pot. Get my cheese. And I'm going to use my whisk and whisk the cheese in slowly, like making it rain at the strip club, if that's your lifestyle, but making it rain. I did not add salt to my grits. Why did I not add salt to my grits? Because I used chicken stock, which already has some salt in it, and I'm using cheese, which has salt in it. That is all the salt one would need, in my opinion. My friend Anitra would say otherwise. But she's not cooking this. Stir the cheese into these grits. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. Creamy grits, that's what you want. Nice creamy grits. And now it's time to plate. If you like thicker grits, use less liquid. Get some shrimp on top. Our juice that we made with chicken stock, lemon juice, garlic. Drizzle that, oh, so good. The tops of the green onion, just gonna top this with, make it rain. And we have shrimp and grits. Oh, so good, you guys. So good. So, pair this with your favorite brunch cocktail. Don't be an August Alsina. And I will see you next week with Brunch with Stacy. Um, I don't know what we're making, but mm, it's gonna be good. This is This is the final look of my shrimp and grits that I made with you guys. I'm pairing it with the barefoot pineapple bubbly that I love so much. Oh, this is so good. Look at this, look at this. Get all of it mixed together and let's eat. If you want, you can hit the top with some lemon as well that's always a good look when you're finished with that green onion but you can definitely taste the lemon the garlic 
and the cheese. Add more cheese if you like. Again, I'm not a huge cheese grits person, but I feel like shrimp and grits have to have cheese grits. This is good, y'all. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. I'm going to eat brunch, have my brunch cocktail, and then do the dishes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Don't be in August.